Welcome to Healthy Living, y'all. If this is your first time being here, I'm Wendy. And I'm so glad that you clicked on this channel because today I want to talk about plant tags. And so when we go in the store, um, we have another type of identification for our veggies, okay? Not only that we have the package that the seed comes in and the information on the back, but then you have another type, the actual tag that comes in the plant. So you will know how to take care of it, the maintenance of the plant itself. And then you turn around on the back and you get to see it. So I have an, a way of showing how I end up with something simple to be able to still use your tag instead of throwing them to the side or getting rid of them. If you don't have these, if you prefer this because it's so big and it might be in your way when you're out there in the garden or whatever, you can take this here. Just chopstick, any stick, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, perk you some sticks. Or collect them from the Chinese place. You had to pay for your meal. So each time you go, everybody there, you get you some chopsticks, right? <laughs> you didn't hear that from Healthy Living. Then you just put them on here. It got the little tape here, here. And if you want to put some, uh, a laminated on top, you can. And you don't have to because eventually, over the years, the sun will work on these and they will get brittle. So all you do is just tear them off, replace it with another one. Go ahead, we're gonna get started on this because I didn't want to make this long and drawn out, but I did want to talk to y'all. All right, I'm gonna put you close here and uh, just show you what I have. You're gonna need scissors if this is something that you want to do. There you go. And like I said, <clears throat> Cell seal a laminating pouch. So yes, this here. another thing you probably wonder why you got that cardboard here. I got this cardboard, a little piece of cardboard. All I did is take it and slide it in to give it some stability, some make it kind of firm, okay? But you don't have to. You can leave it just like this and and proceed on but I have it both ways I have some of them with it and without it if you have it without it it's uh real flat and it's okay it's cool. all right now we're gonna get started <laughs> This is a good way to teach the kids. Come on, we need to uh, identify our vegetables. And not only that, kids can see the picture, they see the name, get familiar with it. At one time, this vegetable cost 50 cents back in the day. <laughs> and then they have all the information on the back. So not only it helps us, but it helps the kids or whoever else is in the garden. So what I'm gonna do is cut these edges off. what it looks like. I'm 
ready. Ain't no reason throwing it away. Take the pointed side down. You can have it in the front. It doesn't matter. It's up to you in that crease. Or you can take it to the back. And scissors come in. See how simple? Sorry that. See it. And then come down here in the side. Do it again. In the front. My vegetables that I planted November the 7th. 21 and then I have all the information down here and I continue on doing it so I will know next year um, what I did what was different what worked for me what didn't work for me and you can put it all in your book very handy okay you all I hope that that was very helpful sorry for the long video I was trying to make it short but you know how we get in here we start talking you start thinking about different things and you know I just want to be able to help and show you what is going on in healthy living and what I want to tell you I really appreciate you being here allow me to show you what I'm doing that didn't cost me a lot of money that well, next time when I show you my garden, that you get to see what I actually have out there. Even if I don't mention it or talk about it, you will get to see automatically what is going on in Healthy Living's Garden. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy my little tags, my identification of my vegetables that will help me along the way when I am just thinking about, oh, how long it's going to take for my uh, veggies to be ready. Oh, you know, or then not only that, y'all, if you want to, the day that you plant your uh, carrots, you can make a small date on here to say when you plant them, if nothing else. All kind of helpful tips. So let me know if this was helpful to you and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all out in the yard. Okay, family, I brought you out so you can see the garden, how they look, what you think. Look, it's holding up just well as far as when I water the plants and everything. And it didn't take long. It was worth it. See that? All right, you all. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to show you how things turned out. See you in the next video.